Hey guys, welcome back to Janine's Kitchen. Tonight I have something really good for you. I hope you like it. Remember when I did the filet mignon and I broke it down and I told you a recipe I like to make is filet mignon quesadillas? That's what's going on here now. So we have our filet mignon. Remember the cubes? See, beautifully set up. Now I have a, a pan heating. Let me get a wooden spoon spatula. Let's see. Get these right in there. They cook really fast. You don't have to worry about too much. I preheated the frying pan because we all know filet mignon, you love it rare. You almost can't cook, overcook it, but we don't want to be crazy. If you like my sister, you burn it. Okay, if you like me and Vinny and you like it more rare, you're going to do this a quick stir fry. Let me put the, I don't want to put the fan because I don't want to disturb the sound. Enjoy the sizzle. Let me lower this because crazy girl stove. We all know my, if you're watching me and getting to know me and my kitchen, crazy girl stove has her moods. I've said it a hundred times and tonight she's behaving a bit. The smell is amazing. I came up with this recipe kind of by accident. The first time I ever butchered a filet mignon, I said, what am I going to do with all the ends? First thing I did was chili, and that was fun and delicious and succulent because it's so darn rare. But, you know, I said, i got to do more than that. And then I said, all right, wait a minute, think out of the box. Then I said, fried rice, stir fry, garlic butter bites, quesadilla. Because I only eat chicken quesadillas, or should say I had only had them before this. Before this, that's all I ate was chicken quesadilla. And while they're lovely and delicious... This is luscious, okay? And I think that another minute or so, a second, let me see, wait with me. Real food, real time. Let's see what's going on. And master cameraman, who's the eater in the house, Vinny, I think they're ready, yep. All right, Vinny's giving me the nod that says, take them out, baby. All right, there we go. So that's done. How long did that take? I'm not going to put a hot pan in cold water because you know that disturbs it it ruins the metal and whatnot and these are my all clad no sticks so just gonna let her rest over here on the side let me rinse my hands a minute because i'm obsessed okay now that took a minute right what? <laughs> my honey my honey is obsessed with you know okay all right he's right it's a good point for everyone don't put your pan, hot pan, on the marble. That's quartz, but honey's right. Add in tips. All right. Thanks, Ben. Okay. That took all of a second. Let me shut that burner off. Okay. I need, I need money for new glasses and aprons. I'm struggling here. My aprons keep coming apart, and these are not my glasses. They're my husband's. My other ones make me look frog-eyed. And that's okay. I want you to at least see my eyes that I'm cooking. Okay. Now, this is simple, and it's going to go quick. Here's our meat. Let's get that near me. Okay. This goes fairly quick. I don't use nothing special or fancy. You saw me break down the filet mignon. You saw me just cook it. And uh, now I have regular craft cheese, and I'm doing something a little different. You'll see. Let me... Uh, I'll tell you as I put it on. Here's the secret to a perfect, what I found. I didn't know how to make um, quesadillas too well, but I did a few videos and a little bit of research, and I learned like everybody else. And if I could bring that to you faster than I got to it, all the better. So you butter one side. And this, is, this comes from an aficionado who worked in one of these taco quesadilla joints fast food. We won't name the chain because they're not supporting us. <laughs> so you do one side, right? Okay, here we go. We got the whole side done to get that golden crispiness. All right, that's gonna go face down in the pan. Now, I'm cooking this on a four. Let's bring it to a five. Hope it doesn't burn, because cast iron heats hotter, performs better, cooks crazy. Let's see. I'm gonna take it and put regular old Mission flour tortilla Okay, I already hear a sizzle, so let's work a little quick. And the thing here is to cheese the whole side. 
This is a little bit of Gruyere, Gruyere and Swiss to make it a little bit crazy fancy because it is filet mignon, okay? You can mix and try all the different cheeses you want. Whatever you like is going to be your special blend, okay? It's going to be what you like. I know I enjoyed the Swiss with the filet mignon. Very much so. Okay, so let that go on there. Then we take some of our meat. Let me see if I get a fork or a, a smaller spoon. Okay, bring that up a bit. Let's see? Now you put the meat on half of it. Now look at these, Vinny. I'm salivating. I don't know about you. And we're probably only going to do two. So, I mean, it doesn't seem like a big bowl of meat. It doesn't have to be because it's just us. Okay. And if there's any left, we eat it on the side. Trust me, you will not be at a loss of what to do with excess filet mignon from a quesadilla. This I know. Okay. Got her pretty full to the edge there, huh? Let's see. I see a spot for another one. And see all that juice? I'm avoiding putting that in. You don't want that. That's from the grill. We just want the meat. Okay, come on, crazy girl. All right, I got my tongs here, my prongs. Watch. Make sure once it starts getting, we got to amp it up a bit because fussy butt is, let me get a, I, this is the one I like. Let's see what we're working with. Okay. I'm never, I haven't done it in cast iron. Okay, I've done it in a regular pan, but I think the cast iron, I'm testing it out because I want to see if it grills it better. And I bought these little gadgets. What are these, Bobos? You can get them on Amazon online. They're perfect for this. Like, let's say when we're ready to flip, you see the ease of that? And I think we're ready to flip. Okay, so let's just go over. This one may be a little bit hotter than we hoped, but that's it. Okay, let's pat it down. Kind of like a quesadilla sealant, whatever have you. Don't worry about any smoke. You'll temper your own stove and you'll watch your own temperature. I'm not stressing that. I used to stress that when I did recipes. That's why I tell people, real food, real time. This will be real food, real time in your kitchen. I have smoke. Mine's hotter. Yours may cook slower. We don't know. We don't know. Okay. Let me see the other side. You just don't pat it. All right. So let's take that out. See, now that's too hot. So I know. Bring it down. Okay. Now I'm going to cut it. And I'm going to show you how we eat it. It's not, a, it's not rocket science. It's a quesadilla. And I cut it into three triangles. One. Ah. I'm only going to show you his. Oh, look at that little. Look at the rareness of that. That's. I think that's the one I'm going to bite into. My mouth's watering as always. Everybody knows Janine's mouth waters as she's cooking because it's so delicious. Okay, I'm maneuvering my stuff, maneuvering around. Look at that. Look at that. I'm going to show you in a sec how we eat them. And like I said, don't worry, mine's a little charred more than yours. Maybe my next one will probably be less because Vinny likes it certain ways. I like it certain ways. Everybody has their way. Okay. I'm going to keep that going. I'm going to move over it. Look at that. Put that here. And I'm going to show you. These are the sides we use. Then come over here so they can see what I do. You can use store-bought, but, you know, I was ambitious today, and there was avocados on sale, ha, huh? so I did two avocados with some onion, a little bit of garlic, hot pepper, do that. This is my tip. We like a ready-made salsa, and I kind of almost, this isn't it tonight, but I use the Tostitos. You know why? Because we enjoy it with the filet mignon quesadillas. And then what's nice about it, it goes in the fridge, it continues to last, stay cold, and then we enjoy it with chips on movie night two days later. So that's just a tip if you want to be thinking about that. This is regular sour cream in the tube. We like the tube one. And let me put a little taste plate together so you can see how I enjoy it, how we enjoy it. It's delicious. And we hope 
that you try it and like it because we absolutely love it. Where's that one with the popping out? Show, show that baby. Mm, yum, 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 yum. Okay. Le mignon, baby. This ain't your regular quesadilla here. And this is how your girl likes to have it. Oh, change spoons. Okay. No mixing and matching. I hate that. Some people like everything on their plate the same bite. Not me. Not me. Not me. The fork I will keep at the end because now I'm going to show you. I'm going to get a napkin. I'm going to do my taste on camera. And this is what I enjoy eating it like. I grab it up like it's a... Oh, my God. <laughs> grab it up like it's a hamburger. A hamburger of a really luxurious hamburger that I'm going to put my own toppings on. Millie's freaking out in the background. She's like, oh, my God, Ma. I know you made steak. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. Okay. Who cares? They're messy. Mmm. 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 Forgive me. A delicious mess. Oh my god. You have to make this. If you've watched my channel and you watched my recipe to break down a full filet mignon and you want to do a Chateau Brion, this is what you do with the ends. You will never be sorry. And you will never accept a mediocre quesadilla ever again. This is a keeper in our house. Love, love, love it. Make it and enjoy it. 